What are Windows Service Accounts? Windows Service Accounts are a particular type of account required to run a specific service or are associated with an application that runs a specific service in the Windows environment. These services may include Microsoft Exchange Server, SharePoint Server, MSSQL Server, Internet Information Service, IIS, Servers etc. What is Service Account Management? Service accounts are extremely common and widespread, and the risk of being an easy target has increased. It is critical to monitor, administer, and audit service accounts in order to mitigate these risks. Service account management is a problem that too often goes under the radar since controlling them might be difficult. When done manually, it's time-consuming and could lead to misconfiguration, errors or other issues. What is a directory service? Directory services store and identify information like email addresses, users, peripheral devices, and computers within a network. Directory services hold this information shared within the infrastructure to manage network names and access resources to users and applications. What is Active Directory? An Active Directory is a tool that provides centralized authentication of users, central authorization of resources and any other security context configurations that users, computers, groups etc. can classify. What is a service account in Active Directory? A service account in Active Directory is a specific user account used by an application or service to interact with the Windows operating system. Service accounts may be used to make changes to services or applications configurations. What are the best practices for managing service accounts? 1. Enable auditing 2. Clean up an account that is no longer needed 3. Always create new service accounts 4. Always create new service accounts 5. Disallow access to sensitive data 6. Set up password policies. Windows Server Service Account Best Practices. 1. Do a quick inventory 2. Excessive permissions 3. Regular audits 4. Segregation of accounts 5. Constrained delegation 6. Stricter password policies.